Right, hi everyone. So, uh, obviously we drew with Porto last night and we didn't really talk about the other two big stories which were Florian Lejeune's injury and Mitrovic going out, possibly Rondon coming in. Or two or three stories, sorry. So, Florian Lejeune's actually put out a little message on his Instagram about his injury and this is what he's turned around and said. We'll talk about Mitrovic and Rondon in a minute. Lejeune actually turned around and said, uh, during my last training session, I felt I left the field due to an injury. After further medical examination, the doctor told me I have an anterior cruciate ligament injury. I'll have surgery in the next few days. This injury will certainly keep me away from the pitch during a good part of the season. I'll do everything I can to get back quickly as possible on St. James's Park pitch. I'll come back stronger, help me help your teammates and Newcastle United the best I can. And obviously Rafa turned around and said after the game last night, he was quoted it saying, it's a crucial ligament and he'll need an operation. We need, we need to decide exactly when, but we'll lose him for a while. It's bad news for us. And I have to agree with that. Flown as you, and, you know, there's several people in the Newcastle lineup since since Christmas last year up the game, and Newcastle found a new lease of life. You can talk about, you know, Kennedy coming in, you can talk about Diarmi, Shelby, Lejeune, Lascelles, Perez hitting form, Dubravka, Yedlin, Dummett, whoever. You can name loads. I think that's a massive blow, me. And we all know that Flamin Lejeune is a key partner for Lascelles. And we're all looking forward to seeing that again this season. His partnership with Lascelles and Dubravka behind him. And I've talked about those three. Um, it's a shame. It is a massive loss because we don't have a massive squad. The likes of Chelsea's and Man United's and Liverpool's can afford to lose the centre-back. We can't. If Liverpool's Virgil van Dijk, they'll still win a lot of games. We won't. So... We do need, I think we need another replacement there, whether it's going to be a loan to be a fourth choice or a youngster who comes in, who knows, or a free agent, who knows, but it gives the possibly a chance of Kieran Clark or as uh, you know, Fabian Share a chance to make their name and or maybe we need to dip in the transfer market. I think we need to dip in me. Speaking of transfer market, Rafa hinted last night that he wishes Alexandra Mitovic well. So it's official that he is talking to Fulham. The deal's not official, hasn't gone through yet. Still waiting on that. He's chatting to Fulham. But the fee is rumoured to be believed around £22 million. As I said last night's video, that is massive. Rise and possibly 27 depending on his, his success at the club and at the national level. We're waiting for that to go through, but that is massive money. And Rafa has hinted last night. You know, he turned around and said, I don't know the numbers. I don't control the account. But if you think if you think about doing the maths, we have enough money. That's what Rafa's quote. He knows and we know that the money is there. The money has to be given back to him. It's got to be given back to him because when now that Mike actually just literally run the corner here, is not putting any money in the club. And we'll have to rely, unfortunately, on sales. And this is a big, big sale. And this could, you know, we can dream a little bit. It might be a Rondon. Who knows? It could be another striker coming in, whatever. But the sky, funny enough, uh, behind us, are saying that, you know, we're in talks with Solomon Rondon tonight. It's either a direct deal with his release clause or there could be talk with Dwight Gale going the other way. Now, Dwight Gill was not involved at all in the Porto game. He was left on the bench and didn't feature at all, which fueled speculation overnight about his future. So, I mean, Rondon, for me, I think it's a slight upgrade on what we have. Don't get me wrong, he's more mobile than Hoslow. We know that Mitrovic isn't going to be playing, regardless if his deal fell through with Fulham, regardless. And I think Rondon, he's, he's got a bit, a bit more movement, a bit more physical presence. His goal-scoring record isn't great, Um but it's a slight upgrade, but it's still an upgrade in some aspect. I'm trying to see the positives here. It's not going to set the world alight, I don't think, but it'll give us more options, with especially with Motu coming in as well. A um, bit of speculation around Mitrovic, respect that I go through. Rondon looks like it potentially what happens, judging what Sky have said, in a massive blow for Florian Lejeune as well. Uh, we're waiting on those other news to go through before we do official videos on it, but let us know what you think as well. News is probably a little bit more quieter than what it was last night because it was all happening yesterday, wasn't it? Have a good night. Watch what you're doing. Bye-bye.